Welcome back. Today I'll be talking about the Olight Black Friday sale and some of the new items, including the brand new Marauder Mini. Let's check it out. And Olight's releasing a bunch of new gear for their Black Friday sale. I just have a few of the items right here. This is the Warrior 3S in brand new camouflage green. That's awesome. They're releasing the Winter 3 and Eternal 3 of the Olight Artfield right here. This is the Winter 3 in titanium and the Eternal 3 is in copper. That's awesome. And then, of course, one of their big releases for the Black Friday sale is this bad boy right here, the Marauder Mini. Now I'm gonna go over this in detail in just a few minutes. And these little items right here are just some of the free items you can get just for logging in past customers and new customers. But I'll go over that at the end of this video. So this is everything that comes with the Marauder Mini. I'll give you guys a nice look at the box here. And then on the back, lumens and runtime. And yeah, there's a lot to go over right here. It does come with a nylon holster. Velcro flap, comes with a lanyard here, a USB type A to Olight's proprietary magnetic charger. It is the two amp version. Here's the warranty information and the owner's manual. And there is a lot in this owner's manual. All right, so now all that's out of the way, let me give you guys a nice close up of the brand new Marauder Mini right here. So let's start talking about some of these features. So the Marauder Mini here has a maximum output of 7,000 lumens and a 310 meter throw in flood mode. And in spot mode, it has a maximum output of 900 lumens and a 600 meter throw. And it also has RGB modes that all have different lumen outputs, but I'll go over that a little bit later on in this video. So yes, it does have switchable flood and spotlight modes and it's very easily switched with this little toggle switch right here. So that's how you switch between flood and spot and then everything else is activated and controlled with this rotatable dial right here. And under the dial there's an LED battery life indicator and an LED brightness level indicator. And each LED does have a specific purpose but I'll go over that just a little bit later on again once I get done with the overview of the body here. Now I'll give you guys a look right down the barrel here. So right dead center is the spotlight. And yes, this lens is convex. And then surrounding that spotlight, there's nine LEDs. So the LEDs that are sort of yellow, these two right here, these two, and then these two right here, those are your cool white LEDs. And then the LEDs that are sort of clear, which is this one, this one, and this one right here, those are your RGB LEDs. Now this outer ring of LEDs is only activated when you have it in flood mode. And then of course, that middle LED is activated in spot mode. And then while we're here at the head, I'll give you guys a nice close up of that crenellated bezel right there, very nice. And as I make my way down the head, there's some anti-rolling spots right here on the head that work very, very well. And I love this twisting, this twisted design of the head right here. It looks like someone just grabbed it and muscled it and looks like there's a little vortex right there. I love this design. Now, I believe this is available in two different colors at launch. This right here is the blue version with the black rubber handle. And this rubber handle feels very nice. It's very grippy, some texture to it, as you can see, and some contoured finger grooves right there. And then right there on the rubber, it's stamped 7,000 lumens, 600 meters. And on the other side, it'll say, Marauder Mini. And yes, this body is made of 6061 aluminum. It has that anodized blue sheen to it. I think it looks great. It feels great. And this thing is hefty. It's like a little brick. It weighs 16.3 ounces, over a pound. So this thing is a little miniature tank. You can use this as a hammer if you wanted to. Now let's continue down the body here. There is your lanyard attachment point right there. And now let's check out the tail here. So the tail has more of those anti-rolling flat spots, but it's also good to get a nice grip on it to unscrew it and check out the battery. But before we do that, this is your magnetic charging port. If you guys aren't familiar with Olight, your charging port right here, sorry, your charging cable, charging port, just go like that, starts to charge, awesome. And now let's open this up and check out this battery. So this battery, is a 6,500 milliamp hour, 32,650, 3.7 volt lithium ion rechargeable battery. And there are no springs at all, none on the tail cap here and none 
inside the body there. It does have an impact resistance of 1.5 meters and an IP rating of IPX8. The X means that dust proofing wasn't tested and the eight means it's submersible in up to six feet of water. So that pretty much covers the body except for the dimension. So let's talk about that. So the Marauder Mini has a length of 5.12 inches and has a bezel diameter of 2.58 inches. And as I mentioned before, it has a weight of 16.3 ounces and that's with the battery in it. All right, so now let's go over the UI lumens and runtime because there's a lot to go over here. So everything is controlled with a single side switch right here. And that side switch is a rotatable dial that yes, it does have seven different levels to the floodlight, seven different levels for the spotlight, and then four different levels for the RGB modes. And yes, it does have a strobe, and yes, it does have a lockout mode, which it does come locked out. And yes, right now it is locked out. It'll lock itself out roughly after about 10 seconds of non-use. So to unlock this, you can see I'm pressing it, no go. What you have to do is rotate this dial counterclockwise, about 90 degrees and there you go. Press the button and the light activates. So the UI is fairly simple here. A short press on that side switch will activate whatever mode you have it in. So right now I have it in spot mode. Short press on, short press off. And while it's on, there are seven rampable levels to this light. So right now it's all the way on low. And as I turn the dial, you'll see it ramp up in levels and there are seven levels here. I don't know if you guys can hear that, listen to this. So there's a little vibration inside telling you that I've reached the maximum and then the minimum right there, that's awesome. Now, when I was talking earlier about each LED having a very specific purpose, each LED basically is an indicator of the lumen output. And I'm just gonna take out the user manual right here. In fact, I'm just gonna pop this on the screen so you guys can read along with me here. You can see floodlight mode, the first LED is 100 lumens, the second LED is 200, and then each LED after that basically doubles, 400, 816, 3200, and 7000. And then on spotlight mode, basically the same thing, 50 lumens, 100, 200, 300, 500, 700, and tops out at 900 lumens. And then each LED on the battery level gives you a more accurate representation of how much juice you have left in the battery here. I think this is awesome. So I do like this system a little bit more than just a steady green or a flashing green light for a battery level because this is way more accurate. There's seven different levels here, so I think this is a fairly accurate and functional system Olight has going on. Now there's seven brightness levels for the cool white mode only. Um, RGB, there's four modes. So in spot mode, you can see how it just slowly ramps up as I turn the dial. Right there is maximum and look at that beam. Now that's a cool white beam between 5,500 and 6,000 Kelvin. And once I do my beam test, you're gonna see just how nice and crispy that spotlight is. But if you wanna switch over to floodlight, all you have to do is just hit that toggle switch down and then it activates, let me turn this down so I don't blind you guys. It activates the six LEDs surrounding that spotlight right there. And if I ramp up, there's the lowest and I ramp it up those seven levels and then there's the maximum 7,000 lumens. Now I love the convenience of this toggle switch right here to go from flood to spot just by flipping a switch. And look at that, it's instant. So this is a super convenient toggle switch right here. Um, I have flashlights that have a flood mode and a spotlight mode like this, but it is a menu based system with a little LED screen. Um, this blows it away completely. Now it does have instant access to level one, the lowest mode. All you have to do from off is press and hold for a couple seconds and it will activate the lowest mode and that will work in flood and it will work in spot. There's level one in flood and spot. And there's instant access to the highest turbo. All you have to do is double click from off or on and there's your seven, or sorry, that's 900 lumens. In flood, that would have been 7,000. So if I turn it off, turn it right back on, there is a memory, but I like the fact that Yes, there is a memory. There's instant access to level one and instant access to level seven. And yes, there is a strobe. Triple click that side switch. Oh my God, that strobe. 
<laughs> uh, that's pretty bright. But yes, triple click that side switch activates your strobe light. Now let's talk about the RGB mode. So all we have to do is turn it on and press and hold that side switch and then it activates red, then green, and then blue. And let me turn it down so you guys can see. You can see it's just the single LED, red, green, blue. So it just circles those cool white LEDs as you can see. Now there are four levels to each one of these RGB modes. So level one, level two, level three, and level four. The red light has a maximum of 200 lumens. The green light has a maximum of 220 lumens. And the blue light has a maximum output of 120 lumens. Now I should mention that yes, there is a memory in this flashlight, but it doesn't work with the RGB color modes here. So if I turn it off and turn it back on, it goes right back to the cool white. It kind of sucks that it doesn't have memory for these RGB functions here, but I'm sure Olight has a reason for that. I'm just not sure what it is. Now the maximum runtime in spotlight mode is 43 hours and 30 minutes, and the maximum runtime in floodlight mode is 35 hours and 30 minutes. Now let's jump over to turbo. So on level seven, the runtime is two minutes, then it steps down to 160 minutes, and then it steps down again to 10 minutes. That's in floodlight mode. And then spotlight mode on level seven is 10 minutes, steps down to 200 minutes, and then steps down again to 40 minutes. Now guys, I can't go over every single thing. This would be an hour long video going over every single level with every single mode, floodlight, spotlight, red, green, blue. That's not gonna happen, so I'm just gonna leave that up for a little bit. If you guys wanna check out every single step down and lumen output for every level, pause the screen right now, check that out for yourself. All right, so now it's time for the beam test. I'm gonna do a couple shots indoors and a couple shots outdoors and uh, show you guys what this beam looks like. And I'm kind of curious to see what this cool white beam, 55 to 6,000 Kelvin looks like indoors, especially with that 70 CRI. Um, I'm gonna be looking out for some green tint in the lower levels. Usually with the CRI that low at 70, you usually start seeing some green tint. But honestly, on the desk here, I didn't see none at all. All right, so let's start inside here. The only light on is that computer screen, and that's it. So let's start it on spotlight mode. Oh, I just locked out. All right, there we go. So there's spotlight mode level one. All right, look at that spot. Almost a perfectly round circle right there. And there's the very end of my kitchen, level two, three, four, wow, five, six, and seven. Little vibration, reach the maximum output. And that's 900 lumens, a throw of 600 meters. And I almost forgot to mention, this tail right here is so wide and flat. If you wanna tail stand this, it is no problem at all. So this is the reason why I like tail standing my light because when you bounce it off the ceiling, look at that, basically lights up everything. So that's spotlight, what it looks like on the inside. Now let's switch it to, actually put it all the way back down and switch it to flood. So there's level one flood, level two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe I was at seven, I think I missed one or skipped one, but that's level seven. So that once again, point at the ceiling, 7,000 lumens. And that is a floody, floody beam. It's pretty even too. So I'll be able to tell outside better just how even this beam profile is, but that's pretty bright. So let's go to Red, oh my God, that's just the highest level red, the highest level green, <laughs> and the highest level blue. So blue has the lowest lumen output of all three of those RGB modes, and then cycle through again to go back to flood. So that gives you guys a nice idea what it looks like inside, bouncing off these white walls. Let's go outside in my yard and check that out. All right, so here I am, side yard, starting to snow a little bit. So let's turn it on first level spot. You guys get a good idea. Well, level one, 
two, starting to hit those trees back there, actually hitting them pretty nice already at level two. And I'll put up the distance between those trees and that structure, that pole barn, that pole barn right there. Three, four, wow, five, six, seven. All right, so that's level seven, highest level. And 600 meters, I mean, you're not having any issues here. Look at that. Very, very nice. Look at that beam. That is just a nice spotty beam. Very nice and crispy outer edge there. I think this looks great. And now let's turn it all the way down and flip it to flood mode. And here we go. So that's level one flood. Two, three, three, lighting up those trees, no problem. Four, five, six, seven. Oh no, I, I miscounted, sorry. It's tough to keep count. Oh uh, no, I'll keep mis, miscalculating those steps there, but whatever, we're at maximum right now. And you can see that is an extremely floody beam. Very, very nice and even. And I sort of wish this had a flood and spot combo where I can have the flood and spot at the same time. Now that I'm out here, I sort of wish it had both. And that car is very loud. So the only way to get the spot there is just toggle that switch, which is no problem. It already stepped down. I can definitely tell it stepped down and then boom, lights up everything. I just kind of wish it had both. So that's a small negative I just thought of just now, but not a big, huge deal, but let's switch over to red. Wow. Red, green, and then let's hit up that blue. Blue. That red was awesome. Let's go back to that. Look at this red. That is sick, man. All right, it's cold as heck out here. Let's go inside. All right, guys, so there's a lot to like about the Marauder Mini right here. So you guys saw that beam test indoors and outside. That spotlight is awesome. Super nice, crispy hotspot. And that floodlight, the beam profile on that floodlight was very, very even, very floody. And I love the fact that you can just easily switch between spotlight and floodlight with this toggle switch here. The seven lighting modes just by turning this dial I think is awesome. I love the fact that it has an RGB mode, instant access to level one and instant access to the highest level seven. And I really love the brightness and battery level indicator right here where each LED shows you either a lumen output or uh, very, very close to accurate on the battery life. I love that. Uh, I think it's highly functional and I wanna see this more often on Olight flashlights. Basically, I like everything about this flashlight. Now, some of the negatives, one of them I just thought of when I was doing my beam test is I wish it had a combo of flood and spot together. Just give me the maximum 7,000 lumen flood, 900 lumens on that spotlight, 600 meter throw. Just give me everything and let me do it with a third position on this toggle switch. So flood, spot, and one more combo. Another small negative of this flashlight is it's just hefty. This thing is a tiny little brick that would be in this holster, which once again, I'm just not a fan of these types of holsters anyways. This is about a pound of weight that's just gonna be hanging off your belt. Now I do like the length of it. I think the length is great. This head here being almost three inches long is fairly big, but I understand it has to be to house these nine LEDs. But that's not my problem. My problem is it weighs over a pound, not a big negative. This is not an everyday carry flashlight, at least it's not for me. So I'm not really worried about this hanging off my hip. I would probably just put this in a bag anyways. No, I feel like I rushed through this video just because there's just so much to talk about with this flashlight. Hopefully I went over everything and I didn't forget anything, but let's start talking about the Black Friday sale from Olight. So as I mentioned, it starts November 22nd at 8 p.m. and ends November 28th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you can get this i3e in antique bronze just for logging in if you're a new customer. Then there's also these ITHX 
keychain flashlights, wine red and evergreen. I have both of them right here. So you can get either one of these at random if you're a customer that's below diamond level. But I'll have all this information down below in my description box. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the Marauder Mini? And once again, I'll have all the information down below in my description box for the Black Friday sale. And I will have an affiliate link that links you directly to the sale itself. Plus, I do have a discount code for non-sale items. If you've always wanted to support the channel, if you use that link and buy something, I do get a small kickback. It doesn't cost you anything extra. In fact, you do save money with that link if it's a non-sale item. And I do appreciate you guys for that. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. I'm going to yell. It's going to echo. And go!